giving away an unopened box of Lorcana, the first chapter, that guy right there, to one of you guys. Uh, from now until December 31st, you can get a chance uh, to enter for this awesome prize. All you have to do is subscribe and join the Discord channel, which is linked in the description down below. Uh, when you join the Discord, it's going to prompt you to select what content you're there for. Be sure to select the Lorcana tag. That way you secure your entry into the drawing. I'm going to be giving away this guy uh, on January 1st. I'll be announcing it on the Discord. So be sure to subscribe, join the Discord, and may the Disney magic be ever on your side. Welcome back to another day on the Pixel Boy Lorcana client. Today we are playing a deck that is based on a deck one of you guys left in the comments for me. Uh, a username Magus3. I hope I'm not butchering that. <laughs> uh, this deck, before we jump into it, uh, should be a lot of fun. But first, be sure to remember to share the video, like, comment, subscribe, uh, notification bell. That's a big one. Uh, be sure to turn on the notification bell, get all the notifications. That That's honestly huge. Uh, if you want to be two videos ahead of everyone else, Patreon is linked in the description down below. You can catch in the next two videos before everybody else. They're already down there. Uh, at some point during this video for the drawing for this booster box, we're going to be raffling off uh, a second entry for this guy, which we're giving away January 1st. Uh, all you have to do is watch the video. Somewhere along the lines, I'm going to ask you a question, and I want the answer down in the comments down below. So, look out for the question, answer it. Uh, the questions are usually fairly easy, guys. Uh, I had a lot of uh, comments, people overcomplicating it uh, a few days ago, so they should be fairly easy. Uh, don't, no need to overcomplicate things, don't think too deeply. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. The point is that you watch the video. <laughs> Uh, but let's jump into this deck. So, like I said, Magus left uh, this in a comment a few days ago. I have made some changes. Uh, we're like 90% similar, though. I will say that. Some of the changes I made, I included Captain Hook, and I brought in some Aladdins. So I got Aladdin Cornered Swordsman and Aladdin Heroic Outlaw because I've had dozens of comments, people asking me to find a way to make Aladdin good again. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but we're going to try. Uh, the, the main point of this deck is that it's very aggressive. It really wants to utilize Shere Khan, but at the same time, it doesn't need Shere Khan to win. It's just that if Shere Khan's out, Shere Khan's like a win faster uh, card. Uh, the point of the deck is to be able to attack and withstand some attacks in our early plays, right? So Minnie Mouse is purely in here. For the teeth and ambitions, uh, Captain Hooks for attacking, Lafus for untapping stuff so they can attack again, Queen of Hearts is for rushing in, Aladdin is that kind of decoy, uh, he can attack, the two is pretty tough, uh, the two lords not bad either, but really, I just wanted to have an Aladdin that the big Aladdin could shift into uh, to get the turn five surprise attack. Uh, we'll run a Jafar into Jafar Snake or Dreadnought. Uh, of course, the Shere Khan's win condition. Benja, you have to have your Benjas in this current meta. Uh, Mulan with the Rush. Namari with the uh, Bodyguard, but also could challenge ready characters. I'm curious how this one works out. I keep hearing good things. I'm not confident that the two, uh, two power will mean much. It's going to be good against things like Prince John and uh, Bucky, but we'll see how well this card actually does. Uh, then we have Maui for because Maui is just a freaking powerhouse, and of course a payoff Queen of Hearts. If we decide not to send the little one to her death, uh, we have the big one that also like Shere Khan cares about attacking. That's going to be our card draw, so we are interested in this one. But we're going to also run Pick a Fight. Pick a Fight is going to be really interesting. Chosen character can challenge ready characters this turn. Um, I had considered putting Scar in here. And Scar might still want to be in here. Um, but I just thought it'd be nice to have another instance of Namari uh, on something that maybe wants to take down something a little tougher. Like Maui or uh, Aladdin. 
uh, for the extra lore swing while stopping our opponent from doing a thing. Uh, maybe even Queen of Hearts, uh, Jafar, a bunch of good stuff that could get that. So I'm interested to see how Pick a Fight works as well. Uh, this deck is 12 uninkables. So let's jump in and see if we can't win a few. Go in second. Well, it means we're on the draw. That's not bad. Oh, we do have Jafar on turn three. So I could go Captain Hook, Jafar, Jafar. When During your turn, if this character banishes another character, you may draw a card. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if we want two of them. We're going to end up inking this, though. I don't want to end up inking it. Oh, I should have kept them. Oh, gross. No. <laughs> Okay, well, 12 uninkables. Had to get two Mulans, of course. It's a good turn four play. Uh, gonna have to ink the Benja and probably the teeth. That's unfortunate. Oh, I like this guy's name. Stop playing meta trash. I'm gonna give him the greetings. I like that name. You are winter approved. Maximus. The Queen. You guys may have noticed I've changed the stuff. I've had a lot of uh, comments about uh, volume. People want me to run music in the background instead of the game music. You know, the main... You know, <laughs> I find it funny. The main complaint about the game music is it's repetitive and it's boring but if i put in my own music you know what's going to happen it's going to become repetitive and it's going to become boring because it's it's, it's it's it'll be a different song but eventually it's just going to be the same song over and over again so i'm not really sure what you guys want me to do about that we'll see uh working on something we'll see we're going to see a queen shift in a song We're gonna see a queen. Oh, pick a fight. That's funny. I could just rip through them. But I will wait. I'll wait till I have more than two toughness. Like with this guy. Japa. What's his name? Royal Vizier. He has a deeper voice than that. Jafar. 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 Ah, I can't do it. Not great at impressions. <laughs> Alright. So we got two queens down. I do half expect to see a shift. Interesting. They're baiting me. They're baiting me. This costs two, but then I can't play this either. But probably do play this one. I mean, I'm expecting a big queen to come down and do some trades. Hmm, it's a good thing I did get a second one. Could you get a share con? Or I could draw a card. Share Khan, no, because it's still a trade. I don't want to trade. I don't want to trade. I want to draw a card. Mmm, I like it. That's a thing. Hmm, are they going to have Rush? No. I almost quested with Captain Hook, but then the Queen gets. Gets it for free value. Ooh, Emerald. That's what's going on here. It's a Lemon Lime deck. A deck that used to be meta near the very beginning. Mr. Meta Trash. Or Mrs. Meta Trash. Or... Hades. Alright, we're gonna see a queen come back. There it is. I see a queen. Alright, how do I want to play my cards? 
I wish there was some kind of healing. Could let Jafar just smack down the Hades. All right, we're going to ink this. Oh, yeah. I really wish it was healing in the deck. I'd like to get more value out of my Jafar. <laughs> All right, let's give him another turn. Set up for my Shere Khan. I do really want to attack, so... Let's make sure I'm getting rewarded for it. Alright, I have three rush characters and a pick a fight, so I can attack their entire board. Well, kind of. There's the queen. There's the trade I want to make. What does this queen do? Go away, trigger. Deal one damage to chosen character. Okay. Okay. Well, Jaffa takes down the queen. Opponent didn't see that coming. Oh, good. I do get a follow up play. Street rat. All right. I need my opponent to make a move. So. I might be questing with Aladdin or Captain Hook just to get my opponent to make some moves. That way these actually have value. The rush is useless if my opponent won't exert. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to start baiting them in. Get my free quests. Free. <laughs> and then uh, get even more lore by taking out their board. And Mulan can still quest after the fact, which is nice. Maui can't do that. What I really need is my other queen. So my attacks draw me cards. Well, we're seeing a quest. That's good for the captain. It's also good for my rush characters. Right again. That's annoying. I need a Jaffa now. Let's get that. Let's quest. And I got to imagine they would want to attack the Shere Khan. So Aladdin's a pretty good quester here. This is going to trade with the board. Captain Hook won't trade. He'll only trade with Radigan, but Radigan would never attack it. So we got to play around that. Oh, no. Not hounds. Whatever will my Maui do? Oh. But he can't attack anything. But it's so nice. But he can't attack anything. <laughs> On surely quests, right? He's got a lot of quest power down there. He's got six. I'm only sitting on five. I could be at six. I think it's time we quest with the board. I think Shere Khan's an easy trade with the Hades. And I think he probably has a Hades in his hand for the recursion, which is unfortunate. Hans. Hmm. Who does Hans take out? Aladdin? Probably Aladdin. Might be shifting out an Aladdin here. Let's do it. No surprises. I kind of wish there was a quest all button. All right, I got two characters in hand that can devastate the board. I have a feeling Radigan and Hans are just going to quest, though. I think Hades will trade with Shere Khan, if I had to guess.
Okay, there's the trade. Surprised to see he didn't try to take down Aladdin. So Aladdin's gonna start stealing lore. If you quest, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. Oh, I can do the LeFou. I could do a four lore swing. I'll lose my Aladdin, but hey, there's no way to heal. That seems like a fun plan. Mm-mm. I like it. Making Aladdin great again. Oh yeah, Aladdin for the win. Stealing four lore from my opponent. Quest, quest, and I'll get another Mulan down. Alright, opponent. Interesting, interesting game plan that we've developed here. Got the well played from the opponent. There we go, that's gonna do it. First victory of the day. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Second, second, second. Oh, I do like that we got our both of our attack payoffs. Now I just need to get them into play somehow. Okay, pick a fight. Not exactly what I wanted. Didn't get the Jafar either. This will be an interesting hand, Mr. Johnny Nims. Benja. Everyone should be playing Benja. Benja or a beast. Benja or beast. Oh, my opponent's like, I see this coming. Oh, what? I got an ink bench too. How strange. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, let's give him the greetings because that was hilarious. No way my opponent expected me to mirror play them just then. I mean, I do have the, the snowy, icy game board. So it is kind of like a reflection. Alright, not gonna be able to do another Benja for you, my friend. <laughs> not gonna happen. Uh, mm, e. I really do want the Jafar. I think this is a fantastic card. Opponent doesn't know I'm red yet, though. He will just continue to be steel. All right, both my characters trade with this hook. Do you expect some removal? Oh, we're both playing a Ruby Steel deck. That evasive man, the evasive is uh, surprisingly tough. Hmm. Hmm. If I could ink something else, what would I ink? So then I could get rid of, or I could play this alongside the other Aladdin. Do I want to do that? I'm not sure yet. Something tells me no. I think this is just, I think this is just the thing that gets inked. But being able to go wide could be huge with my Shere Khan and my Queen. I could just refill my board by attacking in. But I have to get rid of Shere Khan or the Queen. Or Aladdin. I really don't want to get rid of Aladdin. Can't get rid of the little Aladdin because he's a part of the two card play. So I guess, yeah, we're just going to lose the Minnie Mouse. I did my best to think it through. It's just not going to happen. Alright, let's get the Shere Khan. I think if Pick a Fight was anything else, it would have been better. Oh, another Shere Khan. Let's freaking go. I expect my opponent to have a uh, pick a fight as well at some point. Making that Prince Eric a little annoying. Actually, I don't expect it. It could happen. But pick a fight's not really a card you see in decks. Ooh, 
we are in the lab, so we'll see. It's a lot of evasive. I need the other Jafar. I think if I drew a LeFou, I would shift the Aladdin out and then not attack with him. You know, don't use the pick a fight. Not that I could use it anyway. Rush is nice, but I can't do much with it. And I can't do much about these mini mice. I basically just have a board of stuff that can't do anything because of evasive. I really, really need Jafar. Or I need to just draw all of my pick of fights. Uh, yeah, I'll draw a card. Then I'll gain a lore. Then I'll gain the other lore. Then the Aladdin trigger will happen. I'll play a Benja. And you know, opponent's going to be aggressive. So I'm going to be aggressive too. Alright, Captain Hook probably just trades with the Queen, I would assume. Mmm, it's gonna go for it. Oh, we're gonna see a board wipe. Really? Opponent reverted board wipe? Okay. I don't have to deal with the evasive anymore. Oh, oh, and I gotta pick a fight? That is not cool. <laughs> Alright, opponent has all the removal now all of a sudden. <laughs> Oh, there's Jafar. What is going on here? Silly board wipe. This would have been an excellent follow-up to my opponent's shenanigans. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Another be prepared. Well, here's the moment you guys are all waiting for anyway. Oh, I can't play anything. That sucks. Uh, let me know in the comments down below who your favorite Disney character is. Not your favorite card from Lorcana, who your favorite Disney character is. That is the decoy. You definitely need to leave it down there for the people who would cheat off you. Uh, the real quest, of course, is first for my opponent to end their turn. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. I'm going to ink. I'd rather have a lead down. Pass the turn. Is to send me a direct message on the Discord. Not in my Winter Tooth Discord. Somebody else did that. Almost gave everything away. And we're gonna play like that. And in that direct message, I need you to tell me what movie Shere Khan is from. Again, don't overthink it. <laughs> Should be a pretty easy answer. If the answer feels complicated, you've complicated it. It's easy. All right, here we go. Owen and Amari. Ha, huh, your characters aren't safe from me. No bodyguard. Just something that'll be able to attack you. Really, opponent? I'm really starting to hate be prepared. 
I already am not a huge fan of it. It's the only board wipe, and it's only in one color, so it's not like... It's not like something you just get used to, right? Because it's in every color. No, it's it's only in Ruby, so it's like, when you ever see Ruby, you're like... Okay, well, I'm not thrilled about this. Let's quest. Man, opponent won off the back of three be prepareds in the top 20 cards of their deck. But Winter, how do you know they won? Uh, because I'm top decking. If you're top decking, you've probably lost the game. <laughs> probably. Ah, come on, man. Be more original. You know, I get into the lab to play against fun and interesting decks. Maybe someday my opponent will do that. Be fun and interesting. Or well, very unlikely to see another be prepared. I'm surprised how many board wipes they're running. That's a that's a very sketchy thing to do. <laughs> My opponent says well played every time I attack. I don't think my opponent understands the game very well. They're kicking my butt, <laughs> but well played on attacks? Like, that's just a core mechanic of this game, just attacking. Matchmaker at its finest too. I, of course, I play against the deck with all of the removal for some reason. They're running Smash, we've seen Smashes, we've seen Fire the Cannons, we've seen Be Prepared, we've seen Grab Your Swords, we've seen Tinkerbells. Like, if they if the card can remove a thing, their deck has it. Very strange for a deck that's all about creatures and attacking to, of course, come across that when none of my other decks do. Alright, go in second. Full transparency, I made a change to the deck. Uh, Mulan with Rush, who's uninkable, cost me three straight games because I couldn't ink because I kept getting stuck on it. And then alternatively, she also couldn't do anything for the board. Opponents just kept not questing. So she didn't do anything. Uh, so I took her out. I brought Pongo in. That way we can battle the evasive. Now, looking at this hand, I do have the teeth and ambitions. I do have the combo with this, but I don't need two captains, don't need two queens. Okay. Definitely going to ink one of these ambitions. Play the Minnie Mouse. Bloodborne Rue. This is going to be a Ruby Amethyst, and I only know that because uh, Mulan cost me one of my games against him. <laughs> my opponent definitely has a Teeth and Ambition, so I'm not going to run out my Captain Hook into that. Captain Hook's great against Minnie Mouse, but not against the Teeth. They, there it is, told ya. They had the teeth. Mm, it's probably worth it to prevent the three, isn't it? it sucks because I'm not going to develop my board and I'm going to let them take out my Minnie Mouse in exchange for a single point of damage. Or I could just attack the Pinocchio and then I get to keep my Minnie Mouse. Sorry, LeVu. It's not usually where I want to use this, but I think preventing the three is actually really strong. Let them quest with their mini mouse, then bounce it with a snake. Oh, they could even be on Fox turn. Yeah, there's the fox. They did have it. Opted for that evasive. Now I need to find my Pongo. Oh, Jafar is good too. Jafar is good too. Gotta be careful of their teeth. Because they could still definitely have that. I think I'm inking a queen. It's just a little too expensive. I don't have the little queen. And I think the double play is going to be strong. 
or stronger. I like that Jafar's a little sneaky. Play fast enough, your opponent doesn't quite notice that they have the evasive. Oh, so I'll do it anyway. Alright, I can't quite take anything down. His teeth just not strong enough against my opponent. Definitely want to defeat that Arthur. Hmm. Not enough to get a share con down at the same time though. All right, let's see. Captain Hook's gonna have to take it down, right? All right. Giving the opponent my business. Let them see what's what. We'll see how heavy control they really are. Oh, a Benja off the top, please. <laughs> oh, snap. Benja off the top, please. See, if I quest with Captain Hook, Minnie Mouse takes it out, right? But I don't want to run into a whole bunch. We're also looking at a potential Maui turn. Hmm. It is definitely a Maui turn. Minnie Mouse takes out Captain Hook. Maui takes down Minnie Mouse. And then what am I left with? Not much. Maui is a problem. Another spell book. Come on, give me another Benja. Now you can ink and play a one drop. Teeth to take down Jafar. Really, they're gonna do the two damage to their evasive. It means if I get another teeth, that Minnie Mouse is gone. Oh, there's a Jafar. That's good. There, I could take care of that and get the lore. I lose the hook, but I think that's ultimately fine. And a quest harder and faster. Opponent missed their ink. And if they quest with Minnie Mouse, I get them with the Jafar. Goat's not bad. They're gonna do it. Oh, and they gave up. Okay. See? No Mulans to screw me over. Much better. Going first. Good. I just waited five minutes for this game to start. I better go first. All right, not bad. We've got my mini mouse. I have the teeth if I need it. If not, we're going into Jafar. I got. There's a lot of good about this hand, and a lot of draws to get into as well. Big Jafar, big Aladdin. Yeah. What am I inking? That's a good question. Greetings from Super AJ. Greetings. All right, well, we're going to be playing something red first, so let's hide the LeFou, or tuck the LeFou away. Sorry, we're going to play Minnie Mouse. It's totally possible we hide the steel for a, for a hot second. Cinderella, Cinderella. All right, well, that's easy. Let's get that cooking. Uh, hmm, I like my board. Quest for two, quest for two, quest for two. Put the teeth away. Alright, I do expect something from my opponent which makes Aladdin a little tougher to quest with, but we will see. If they're one toughness as well, I might be able to just have Minnie Mouse take him out. Not one toughness. Not one toughness at all. <laughs> okay. Am I gonna give up Jafar here? For a Benja? 
quest for more. It's on curve. However, Jafar takes down Prince Eric with pick a fight. I mean, I'm not playing pick a fight with anything else until turn five. The Benja. If I'm looking for a double play that turn. Let's do it. Let's get Jafar down. I'm going to quest Minnie Mouse here. They want to attack. Great. Jafar will take him down. Aladdin will quest. I need to ink. Sorry, Benja. Sorry, Benja. Utilization of the resources in the early game is tough for me. I want, you know, I'm trying to maximize the value because it's the early plays in the game that are usually the most meaningful. If you can create a wide enough chasm in the early game, you can make it so the late game uh, is largely meaningless. It's just really tough to pull it off. Let's see. Well, they got the bodyguard, so I'm not defeating the prince. Alright, we'll just pass turn. I got a pongo now. Deal with that. Let me, let me see your smash. <laughs> so far, opponent's only showing me steel. I wonder if this is a steel deck. <laughs> There's the smash, of course. Man, of course. Opponent's all aggression. This is so weird. How come I keep playing against aggro decks with my aggro deck? Like, we just keep getting in stalemates where nobody wants to do anything. take you down let's take you down and let's quest who does captain hook want to trade with anybody for any reason anywhere oh, I'm touching the beard gross beard oil <laughs> see it's a deterrent Okay, we're gonna get the trade with Aladdin. All right, we're gonna pick a fight with Tiana here. Get the safe quest. I mean, I already had a pick a fight. I would have preferred drawing a character. Having said that, we're about to draw big Aladdin, who I can't play. Not big Aladdin. Hmm. Patience, young one. Patience. Please don't have removal for Maui, because otherwise that's going to feel really bad. Come on. Whiff. Whiff one time. Hey, another payoff. Not the payoff I wanted. I wanted the card advantage. Wait a minute. Why didn't Maui take this down? What? Oh, did they play four dozen eggs? Had resist two? Yeah, okay. Got him. Mouse armor. Resist. So it's got it's only gonna take one damage if I play teeth. 
pass. Tinker Bell. Captain Hook. This is what happens when two decks that don't draw very well run out of cards. <laughs> Draw, play, go. Draw, play, go. My opponent's got a very defensive board. Super annoying. I resist two means I need to do five points of damage to it. So this does zero damage to the prince. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do one point of damage with Captain Hook. One point of damage with Shere Khan. No points of damage here. Well, that's super stupid. I don't like this at all. All right, opponent's gonna win this game. I, I don't know. I just can't get to that prince unless I top deck a Maui. That mouse armor coming in clutch. And a Tinker Bell. Opponent's top deck him way better than me. Ruby Steel, do they have it? No. Ruby Steel doesn't. Goodbye, Share Card. Ruby still does not have what it takes. It's getting absolutely devastated. This doesn't do enough damage. It does no damage to Prince. Uh, I hate to say it, guys, but I think that's the end of the game. There's really no way to recover from this position. My, my Most of my characters are too weak. I need to... I have to get a Maui. Maui's the only way to break this lock. Yep, it's not going to happen. Good game, opponent. Good game. I'm not going to break that lock. Welcome to the post-game wrap. Uh, does the Ruby Steel have it? No, if you watched the last game, I don't think Ruby Steel's there. At least not this iteration. I ended up trading out uh, the uninkable Mulan with Rush for the evasive Pongo. Uh, I was having issues with evasive characters, so that didn't help. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, Mulan kept getting stuck in my hand as being uninkable. And often during the early turns of the game, when I really, really needed ink. So I couldn't afford to play her, and I couldn't ink her. Uh, it was pretty awful. I actually cut out three games from this. All back-to-back -back games where Mulan got stuck in my hand, preventing me from inking, and unable to play out any cards. It was awful. Uh, it was enough to make you hate the card. <laughs> yeah, so officially, I hate that Four cost uninkable Mulan. It is my least favorite card in the entire game because I had three back to back games uh, where actively it cost me from making progress and ultimately lost the, those games. So, not gonna ever play that card ever again. Don't ask me to, I won't. <laughs> uh, some of the strengths of the deck Maui, of course, is always strong. This deck has nothing to do with Maui. Maui's just a powerhouse. Uh, trying to get the Shere Khan and the Queen both were difficult. Queen, surprisingly so. There's just as many copies of the Queen as there is Shere Khan. Still struggled to get her. Uh, but the big issue that I had today, which is funny because the matchmaker is the matchmaker. Uh, I kept facing against three toughness. And you'll notice that none of my stuff has three power. With the exception of my more... Most of my more expensive stuff. But even some of my expensive stuff like this one. Two power. Not enough. Two power. Not enough. Uh, too expensive. Couldn't get to it. Not enough of these. <laughs> Not enough of the, I, you know, I need 10 of these in the deck to make this one consistent enough to be reliable, right? Uh, I don't know. It's just not, it's trying to do a share con game plan. And the characters, I get why you want to go with a low attack power. So you can have multiple attacks, just be bouncing off of each other. Uh, but these guys also don't have large enough butts to survive bouncing off of other characters. So, I mean, you need, like, this needs to team up with the, what's, what's her name, Eudora, the amber one with the 1-9. One yeah, huge butt. Uh, but even then, you don't want to do that because it, that one quests for two. So why would you attack for one and gain one? I mean, unless you had three share cons. You need three share cons in play to make that, that value there. I don't know. I just, I don't think share con has the power right now. I think we need to wait until the next set, see what the next set gives us. 
Uh, possibly locations. Maybe locations has got something sneaky with Shere Khan. Uh, but right now, it's just not there. Uh, links in the description down below for the deck list if you want to take it and run it yourself. Make your own changes. Uh, as always, if you guys do play with the deck list and you make changes and you find lots of success with it, please let me know. I'm always interested. I'd love to come back and revisit these decks with some changes with, you know, some workarounds, uh, things that you guys, maybe some clever little synergies that, you know, I don't see. I don't see everything. Uh, I'm only human. I don't see it all. Uh, I want to know. Uh, Discord's also in the link down below or the description down below. <laughs> uh, and so if you do make changes to the deck, Discord's the place to share it. And then, of course, the Patreon. If you want to be two videos ahead of everyone else, the Patreons, all the Patreon members saw this video two days ago. They're already way ahead of you. They've already seen two days ahead of you. They're past this video. They're done and over with it. They're on to bigger and better things. If you want to be like them, link's in the description. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.